Rick, 7-0 uh, and oh for Kevin Lankin and on the road. Where would you rank this performance tonight? Well, it's t definitely top. I mean, he was, you know, first, second, and third star. Like, he was very good tonight. Saw the puck extremely well. Um, they made a couple of nice... Where they were, they think they were going to shoot it. They were, they're going to shoot, and they went back. Uh, you know, the cross ice, and he he just read it. That's when you know their goal is on tonight. So he made a couple of those saves. They're tough saves he made tonight. Really tough. What does it mean for a guy like Jake DeBrus to not only make his return to a city he used to play for, but to also just grab a goal in it? Yeah, it's always nice to come back to the place you've been, you know, traded from or signed as a free agent. Um, he's asked a lot of good years. He loves Boston. He loves the fans, and uh, it was nice for him to see him score. Coaches usually don't want to criticize a win, uh, Rick, because your goaltender was your best player tonight. What did you think about the overall? Yeah, he played really well. You know, we, we had some uh, moments we wish we had back, but uh, Lance was awesome. It's hard to, you know, we're, we're eight and one on the road, so we've got to give the guys a lot of credit grinding out some wins. They're not pretty, but uh, they're not, 82 games, you're not going to have pretty ones, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get out of here and take it. A lot of... Uh growing attention on when Thatcher is going to get back, but with what you've seen from Kevin Lankin in these 20 games, is he going to be part of the conversation no matter what from here on in? Well, I mean, I mean, I, what's presented in front of you, I mean, he's playing very well. I mean, he's, he's been great for us, so, you know, he's going to continue to play for us. I mean, I, you know, I don't, I don't know how to answer that in the sense that, like, he's not going to sit the bench. Okay. Yeah. Just well, okay. I mean, I'm nuts if I sit him on the bench. No, he's, 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 he's been terrific. Um, and like I said, he lives for the moment, you know, game to game, which I, that's what I love about him. In some ways, you know, for a guy who played sparsely the last two years, yeah. is maybe this second 10 games, uh, however many he's played, has that in some ways been more impressive than the first 10 because he's been able to sustain it and maintain it? Yeah, I, I think a guy like him, he always has it in him, confidence. Um, you know, we ran him pretty hard there for about five, six games. Got a little bit tired. Um, you know, Seeloff came in, gave us some good, good, good game, and, I, and gave uh, Lanks, a, you know, a good week of rest. Um, you know, we got to be careful. You know, you got to, you got to make sure that you get some of these guys some rest, some goaltenders. Uh, you can't just run guys out there. So, um, but you can see like Lanks worked on his game the last week, uh, and he he rested, and uh, you know, he's put a couple of good games for us together. Well, a great shout-out for yourself uh, this evening. How would you describe the way that you felt in net this one? Yeah, I felt pretty good. Um, confident. felt like I was seeing the puck tracking well, um, triggering to whatever play happened in front of me. So um, it was a good night, but at the same time, I think we battled extremely hard. Like, D did a great job in front of the net, blocking shots. Brentstrom had a couple of huge blocks and then just clearing rebounds and stuff. So I think there was a great team effort. How did you react so quickly to that puck off the end boards? I think it was on the first power play. You got your right pad down on the coil. It looked like he had a lot the puck and some net there. Yeah, I think. It. Yeah, I think that's part of part of the tracking, triggering, trying to be alert uh, ahead of the play. Obviously, there's lots going on around the crease sometimes, so you just got to throw something at it. And uh, yeah, we got lucky a couple times there, but um, yeah, really thankful how it all turned out. Describe that uh, scramble in the second. Uh, you saw Pasternak on the breakaway, and then some mayhem followed. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the part of goaltending that I always love, just scrambling and kind of throwing the technique and the structure out of the window and just trying to get something at it. And, uh, yeah, like I said before, I got some help from my decor and uh, the guys in front of me, so that made, made it a lot easier. You played a lot of good games this year. Do you think this was your best game? Uh, might have been, yeah. At least um, looking at the results and kind of, kind of uh, the team effort itself. So yeah, got to be proud of this one. But at the same time, you know, keep your head down and foot on the gas and make sure uh, whenever I get the call next time uh, to perform at the same level. You mentioned the block shots and they're blocked 26 shots in front of you. How much does that sort of help you stay locked into a performance like this? Yeah, it's huge. Uh, I give a lot of credit to. The guys in front of me, I think that's been a part of part of the game that we've been kind of uh, working on, making sure we stay committed, and I think that's what we showed tonight. Everybody was uh, putting their body on the line, and uh, best case happens, and we win the game.